across the country taking measures to limit their spread of the coronavirus. I'm sure many of you doing your part. You're washing your hands, you're staying in. And while not eating at restaurants is well, something that many people may not like, how about that curbside service? Is it safe? Amar Walker spoke to experts to find out. With most restaurants across the U.S. shuttered, many of us are turning to food takeout or delivery. But how safe is it? My message around takeout really is um, go ahead and do it. It's a really safe alternative. Dr. Benjamin Chapman, a food safety specialist at North Carolina State University, says there's no evidence that coronavirus is transmitted by food or food packaging, even if coronavirus somehow makes its way into your meal. In general, eating food is low risk, and there has not been any evidence to show that coronavirus is transmitted by eating food. And although the heat from cooking is more likely to kill off the coronavirus, Virus. Dr. Angela Rasmussen, a virologist at Columbia University, says the risk of contracting COVID-19 through a hot or even cold meal is extremely low. Coronaviruses in general are not stable at high temperatures, so it is highly likely that cooking uh, food will inactivate the virus. Cold foods, we don't know how long the virus um, remains infectious uh, on cold foods. However, for things like produce uh, that you would um, presumably wash prior to eating, uh, that should rinse off any virus. Dr. Rasmussen adds, if the virus is ingested, our stomach would actually get rid of the virus. When you eat any kind of food, whether it be hot or cold, that food is going to go straight down into your stomach where there's a high acidity, low pH environment that also will inactivate the virus. CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta says that if you order food from a restaurant, there are some precautions you should take. What we've uh, basically done is well, if we receive food, we'll try and take off some of the packaging actually on the porch even and leave it out there. And then when we come in, we sort of wipe any of the surfaces that any of the, the remaining packaging is on and then obviously wash our hands. I mean, again, keeping in mind that it's, it's hand touching and then, then hands to, to face. So we're, that's, that's how we've sort of approached it. And it, and it seems to have, have worked. I feel pretty good about it. Dr. Celine Gounder, clinical assistant professor of medicine and infectious diseases at NYU. Bellevue agrees that it's human interaction, not interaction with food, that poses the greatest risk. I think the highest risk moment in getting food delivered to you is actually the face-to-face -face interaction if you have one with the delivery person. So ideally, you would be able to pay them online, tip them online, or whatever platform you're using for ordering food, and then have them leave it outside your door Wait till they leave and then get the food. If you prefer to head to the grocery store to throw together a homemade meal, wiping the products down and washing your hands are key. I would suggest wiping down the external surfaces of, of canned or wrapped foods. You should be washing your fruits and vegetables produce anyway. Soap and water is just fine for that. Making sure you sanitize your hands after you unpack your groceries is also a key step here. And since it is safe to eat curbside, we encourage you to eat local and help area restaurants. All you need to do is go to our website, mywabashvalley.com. And on the main page, you will see a list of Valley restaurants offering drive-through or curbside service in both Indiana and Illinois.